Chris T. He spells T T E E. Right. Subject is Maple Leaf Wrestling slash Dick Murdoch. Greetings, gang. So I was on this cool website, YouTube, surfing away, and ran into a few videos that really took me back to my youth. Growing up in Buffalo, we had access to a ton of Canadian TV stations, and every Saturday, I look forward to watching Maple Leaf Wrestling. Surrounded so in the 70s and 80s, it was basically mid Atlantic NWA shows from the famous Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto where the Leafs played. To my knowledge, this setup was the first to have the entrance ramp attached to the ring. I know you guys grew up down south, and JoJo was probably too young, but did you guys ever see Maple Leaf Wrestling? Side note, I know how good, I had no idea how good Dick Murdoch was. The matches I watched recently were incredible. Here's a guy who has absolutely no muscle tone doing leapfrogs and gorilla pressing Harley Race. If you have time, check out some of his old matches. Also, when I was a kid, I had no reaction, but now I pop big time at the name Dirty Dick Slater. <laughs> uh, Slante and some Rick. Um, I've seen the setup in Toronto. It has the ramp going to the ring. I, I never... I never knew that territory. I've just seen a couple matches from Toronto on YouTube. That's my knowledge of that. And I'm a huge Dick Murdoch mark for his Bro, movies. He's doing a great let me tell you, <clears throat> Let me tell you something. I think I'm sure I've told you this story before, but it's worth repeating. First of all, I never heard of Maple Leaf Wrestling. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but I went to very few wrestling matches when I was a kid, but there was one I'll never forget. And it was at the Miami Beach Convention Center. And Dick Murdoch was a heel. This is just to show you how much times have changed. Mm-hmm. And I went up to Dick Murdoch and I asked him for his autograph. And he screamed at me, no. <laughs> and I left. Okay. Where today, they hey, how's it going? Let's take a picture. You know, what's, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that was being a heel. Because now I was mad. I was mad at him. You know what I'm saying? And that's, bro, that's a lost art. I got so I, I I met Dick Murdoch. Uh, he, we were on the tour when I was when I did those Mississippi tours. When before I got to WCW, when I had to drive Jake Jake Roberts over there, and I would go over there with Terry Taylor and stuff like that. That little territory they had. And Dick Murdoch was there, and like you know, this is back in '94 or maybe you know this is the early to mid '90s. But uh, we used to work in the Indian reservations, and like I'd always heard, like today, I hear stories about like how Dick Murdoch was in the Klan. Like, like right, he yeah. was Ku Klux Klan, a big racist, you know, something. But like, you know, it's funny too because he, for some reason, he liked me. You're right. So, uh, and I was like this young kid, and he, oh, he, he, he thought it was funny, you know, he's like, oh, disco, you know, because yeah, you know, the funny character, right? But it was fun. <laughs> I'll never forget this, and I, I was just shocked that that like. So we go to one of these casinos, and after the shows, a lot of the boys would go. Get, get, we, you know, we're staying at the casino, so guys go to the casino. We would be gambling, playing blackjack, stuff, and everything, all that. I'll never forget. There was a we were at a we were at a blackjack table, and so I'd like to say so so Dick Murdoch was was like sitting in the if you look around the, the table like I'm at the far like so I'm to the right of the dealer right uh, and like um so another guy like and so there's a black guy at the end of the table to the left of the dealer on the opposite end and Dick's like sitting here watching me play right <laughs> so the, the the black guy at the end of the table. Like hit like the dealer was like showing like just hypothetically it was just one of those things like the dealer was showing a five and he had like a four and like the guy the guy hit right and Dick Murdoch bro this is nineteen ninety four okay oh, and Dick, Dick Murdoch like said that this is just loud as hell in the casino he goes God damn it Disco did you see what that stupid <laughs> did oh. and just that but, but bro the black guy started laughing. And I was, going, I was like, "Where the hell are we?" I don't know we? what like, year you know, that would have been acceptable, bro. bro. This is like Mrs. Wow. But I'm just saying, this is '94. We're in yeah, Mississippi. That was not acceptable in '94. It wasn't acceptable. But the guy was like a who was a, a mark, like, yeah. like he did, like the, the guy at the table. This is you know, we're at an Indian reservation casino. It's not an expensive place, right? You know that. Right. But like, I got the. I was like, I couldn't believe he said that, and I couldn't believe that the, that, that the black guy started laughing at him. And like, but, but the guy was like a mark or something. I was like, Jesus Christ! Like, what the hell? This was the tour that I would like have to drive Jake Roberts around all cracked out. You, right. you know, and so they was just like, so this is my this the is introduction the, into wrestling. Well, this is the introduction to me actually going <clears throat> as an indie worker, working like an actual territory where they, they were they were doing TV and we do like you know four or five shows in, in casinos like on four or five days in a row, right? Like throughout Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi, around there, and like from there. I kind of went into WCW after that, right? But but that, that's the environment that I was working in before I was going to WCW. And plus, I and think I, you told me the first time you went to WCW, 
Vader was fighting with Orndorf. But first, they got walked in the locker room. But this what the fuck? One minute earlier, Orndorf, Orndorf had beat up Vader. Yeah. And I was like, in this like few months period of me like breaking into the business and like making like yo, know, <laughs> Jesus, I'm from the mean streets of Marietta, Georgia. That's-